got the plant starts out here and we're excited to get them planted in the first section of the garden um, we are expecting rain finally every day for the next I think week actually there's like a 40 or 50 percent chance of rain so hopefully we get that rain because we really really need it our pasture is very burned in certain areas so um, Getting close to countdown to to, do, to calf date for Annabelle. Um, the earliest expected calf, um, early expected due date for Annabelle is uh, April 27th. Is the earliest. Now she might not calf until May or June, but just to be safe, um, Davis helped me um, this past weekend get the round pen arranged and set up. We got a round bale in there for her, and uh, we tossed her and Lexi in there. So there, she's got her companion. They're in there together. They've got their own hay and they are set. Got hay for the goats. They were out, but um, now we got four more bales. Goats are doing really good. Yeah, bud? We're out of grain. No, we're not. Just got grain, remember? Goats are doing good. Brownie is still fat as can be, so we'll see all that. I'm gonna go ahead and start carrying these buckets over the fence line and then I will get the hay in here and set up. Annabelle seems to think I'm up to no good. Are you hiding over here? What are you doing? Why are you hiding? Hi. Hi. What are you she's doing? Shy. I don't know what she's doing. She's being weird. Annabelle, are you Annabelle, shy? what are you doing? Hi, oh, baby girl. How are you doing in here, love? Is Lexi driving you up the wall? Or are you starting to be getting ready? When are you going to have that baby? Are you going to have it at the end of the month? Can you tell me anything? Any insights? Electrocute you. There's nothing that can keep you from going anywhere. Nothing at all. The whole place is just open wide. Hi, babies. Go no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. So we started. We got this whole area that needs to be clear, but I don't yet have a fence to run it here to safely have the goats run it. And we're not ready to move the cows into here. So we've got been bringing the goats and tying them up to each of the individual tea posts and letting them eat. And they've already cleared a good amount right here. So that is what we're letting them work on. So now I've been talking about how excited I am about this garden, but I mean, look at it. We 
we got so we got the cattle panel trails cattle panel trellis up we used the 16 foot by 55 inch cattle panels from tractor supply they were about $21 a piece and then we used um, five foot the smallest size uh, T posts that we could use we got five foot T posts and the way we set it up was we took because you could put two T posts for every panel but that's gonna get pricey really quickly depending on how many trellises you wanted to set up so what we did because we are having it's a 24 foot long tunnel um, we used a total of five we used a total of five panels and then we took and we staggered. We put we put T posts at each end of the panel, and then for each place where the panels intersect, we put a T post there. So that way, each panel is getting two posts, but it's not twice. It's not as it's not as many T posts as it would have been if we would have actually went with each panel having their own four T posts. We've got various squash, melons. We've even got some cucumbers. And then down here we've got the green beans. So there's two different types of soil here. So over here is where the soil is very rich and black. And it's still got some, some organic um, material in here, but we noticed that it's a little bit more sandy over here. So we figured, you know what, the soil's not as rich here. It's probably a good idea to plant the green beans where the soil is not as rich. So our green beans are planted here and our melons and squash are planted down here. Our asparagus, have all popped up and are doing awesome. We've uh, done what we're supposed to and we let them fern out and get further established. Our strawberries are doing good. Um, we have them trying to produce flowers, but we've been plucking the flowers. We did lose a few. Um, it's been so hot. And then we had the goats got out a couple times and they ate the tops off of all of them and we had heart attacks and panic attacks and freaked out. But um, a lot of them bounced back and uh, we're waiting on some replacement strawberry plants to come in. See, there's, there's a flower, so we're gonna go ahead and pinch that flower off, because we want the plants to get established. constantly have a problem with the ducks and chickens not laying eggs where they're supposed to because we've yet to build our nesting box. We have our roost bar feeders. We took a tub, filled it with mulch, that way if they poop it'll compost, and put hay in the top, and it's working. Even the ducks get into it. Nice. Hold her here. Want to show her to everyone? Who is that? One of the mama buttermilks. One of the mama buttermilks? <laughs> She's like totally freaked out. Well, why don't you hold her better? Hold on, she's slipping out, she's slipping out. Give her support. Fix her. Make her feel safe. There you go. That's better. See what I'm saying? So it only 
And take oh, open them up, open it up, and dump it out right there. I don't know what that did this to me. <laughs> I don't think there that's what she's thinking, but <laughs> so it started raining. Well, it's drizzling, but it's been a consistent drizzle. Um, and it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Thank god, I'm so happy for there to finally be rain. But uh, at least we got the tomatoes in. Look at that. That is nice. That is straight. Aw, oh, it's pretty straight. So, and the squash and the green beans. I had to sew a new batch of green beans. They did not pop up. So, we're inter sewing. Well, inter sewing. We're planting um, more green beans to replace the ones that just didn't pop. The squash are doing excellent. I'm so excited. We've got one little butternut squash popping up, um, but it's struggling for some reason, so I'm thinking I might have to regrow a new butternut squash. But look at this moon and star. Look at this moon and star watermelon vine coming in. I love the flex on the leaves. That is just so cool. 